I'm Shatima. I printed out my notes and left them in the car, so here's my laptop. Um, I am an early flip classroom teacher. I've been going through the emotional roller coaster of dealing with students on this one. Um, but I am a fan of actively learning and having the kids do all the work and the heavy lifting. And I don't do too much, but I do. But I enjoy those lessons a lot more. I put a lot of legwork in at home and then they do all the work at school. Um, I have a big focus on junior secondary curriculum and that's not just in math or science. I like to pretty much take everything from everywhere. Um, and I like crayfish, but hey, that's my, my past life coming through. So yeah, let's get into it because I'm going to try and beat this eight minutes. Um, <laughs> I remember being at uni and they'll always be like, oh, just, oh, and I'm really early career teacher, so like fresh. <laughs> um, I've probably got a couple of spots now on me, so maybe not so fresh. Um, about three, four years in now, so they told me, still, don't reinvent the wheel. <laughs> and I've been holding on to that mantra pretty much since day dot. Um, yeah, I've done this, love it, and it's even got some name on it, so I didn't have to look it up. <laughs> um, yeah. We don't reinvent the wheel, steal it. Like my child. <laughs> um, but ask nicely. <laughs> ask nicely. I've been taking things pretty much off Twitter. Like, as Courtney has been saying, I pretty much blatantly just started Courtney's idea. Um, but I've been tweaking it for my students and their resources, like the stuff I have. So I've tried things and then hit lots of stone walls along the way in my school because we don't have those certain resources or we don't have those access points and it's just like well let's see if I can MacGyver something that looks like what I saw on Twitter but hey it works in my classroom. Um, I'm not afraid to make mistakes and I will constantly make mistakes. So. Um, but if I do get a good one I keep it and then I share it and I scream about it and I yum, like run through the um, staff room going I did something really good and it worked really well so can, does someone else want to do it? And then just like okay all right. <laughs> Um, and I adjust the bads and I keep doing that. So it's that rinse and repeat and I think that's just a reflection of being a reflective practitioner. So good practice. Um, yeah. So <coughs> here are a collection of all the little pretty pictures because that's what's better to look at. Um, and it's mainly trying to find things that my students have actually done. So we watched I Like This Band a lot. So OK Go, they make some impressive art pieces in terms of music videos um, and we normally kind of have chats about them in class um, and then also we had an opportunity because of flip learning um, to make some Rube Goldberg machines so we did that and to the point where my guys were like they had to keep asking are you sure we're not being assessed on this because this is really fun like I was like no I'm really sorry but like let's just keep doing this because they wanted to keep extending it out to like two three lessons I was like I had to count it at four um, but to the point where I had one student with her arc welding dad weld up the piece of ramp to make so that her marble could go down that. So they really showed a sign of commitment on that one and I really like that. These are when you get puzzle worksheets in the back of textbooks or whatever, instead of getting the kids to do a whole lot of questions, I make them make the puzzle. So it's just a way of them handling the content. They have to work out the answers and then they have to kind of work backwards and reverse engineer a, a problem. So it's getting them to think. So you can get some basic ones like, what's the you know alphabet one, solve a problem, that letter plugs in. This kid went so cryptic crossword, I told him that he needs to just start writing them for the age. Um, then I have like this really interesting cohort a couple of years back. This guy was like, destroy this Death Star. The locations are LD, da, 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 using translation. So that's a mathematical concept. This one has, go find the dead bodies. <laughs> so my students are really macabre, but hey, the learning is happening. So that's what I was into. They were into that too. Um, here we go. Uh, we've done, nailed it in our class, and this is the product. We even filmed it and then presented our video on um, Parade. It was all good and well. Um, and the students were really impressed by it. And they were just, there was one kid where they, Oh, anyway, we filmed it and made it edit perfectly into like a MasterChef episode. It was great. MasterChef, if you need someone. <laughs> um, and I cannot remember where I found this on the Twitterverse, but it was Skittles probability. So we got to eat Skittles and they were into that. 
but they constructed their own little graph here. See, it's just all happening. But that's pretty much me in my classroom. And oh, more things. We do like a little summary book. So four pages, staple, staple, and it's offset. So I didn't really get that there, but they're like little booklets. If you've got something that has like four concepts, I guess you could go more. And they do an explanation and an example of it. And that's what we use. Breakout boxes, my little helper. Oh, breakout boxes. I thought I was never going to get one of these. And I just went in, da 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 da, in my bright, shiny self, and went, Hi, Deputy, can I have one of these? And they're like, Yeah, sure. And I was like, Oh, sweet. So ask, because you never know what you're going to get. And if you're not going to get, like, if you get a no, well, you're in no different to if you'd never asked in the first place. So, and then I stole Pete's traffic cups. He's in the room. Courtney science memes, so I like to end on that one because, yay kids, we can all be scientists. And yeah, if you want to know more, jump on the socials. I didn't make that. <laughs> I did not make that. My kids made that and they sent it to me and I was like, eh, yeah, sure. So if you want resources, come and find me. My 10 GMA class really love me and you guys can love me too. All right, <laughs> that's me. <laughs>